Comedy's dying. It really is. And I just want to make a video. I usually talk about professional wrestling, but today I'm going to talk about Dave Chappelle's special, Sticks and Stones. Um, comedy is dying um, because people, for whatever fucking reason, are getting so easily offended over certain jokes. Um, I did indeed watch um, Dave Chappelle's special. I want to say this. Dave Chappelle, in my humble opinion, is the greatest comedian on planet Earth right now. I think he's better than any comedian in Ireland. I think he's better than any comedian in the United Kingdom. I think he's better than any comedian on the United States. D fucking Jamaica. Fucking whatever. Arnica. He... I believe this man is the greatest comedian of all time because comedy, in my opinion, is an outlet of something that is so sad that you eventually make funny. And I think, and that's always been my motto, like it's something either that is an anger or it is something of, of sadness that you eventually make a joke out of. And that's why I like Dave Chappelle's fucking comedy routine because he just tells it like it is. Um, I have to say this is probably one of, if not the best stand-up comedy specials that he's done. Um, and some people are quite offended by this. And to be honest, I think, um, and I hate to sound like these anti-SJW guys. In, in all, and, and I don't like the anti-SJW guys either. I want to make things perfectly clear. I don't like them either. And I don't like the SJWs either. I think both sides are utter fucking morons. The anti-SJW guys just get as much triggered as the SJW guys. It's just like... The, the, the anti-SJW guys can pick and choose who they... But they, in, at the end of the day, they get offended no matter what. And whether people agree with me or not, you, you can. But you gotta admit, some of these anti-SJW guys get fucking offended as much as the SJW guys. So I just want to make that very perfectly clear. I know that's not the, the hip or cool thing to say these days. But I just want to say it. Um, Dave Chappelle, in my opinion, did an amazing comedy special. I think he spoke a lot of truth. He spoke a lot of truth of the way things are going on in today's society. I think he spoke a lot of truth in regards to the way we are acting today. And some people didn't quite like that. And some people were like, oh, I can't believe he's saying those things. It's, it's quite offensive. I, can you believe? Listen, I want to make things perfectly clear. I think it was either the special or it was a YouTuber that said this. I can't remember what. Watching a stand-up comic... That you know is offensive. is like walking into a strip club. Thinking that women aren't going to strip. It's that simple. It's that fucking simple. You, if you walk in to a comedy show. If you walk into a comedian that you know is notorious for being offensive. Then do us all a favour. Stay at home. Please stay at home, do us all a favour, because I, honestly, I feel bad for Dave Chappelle, because he came back, he came back from his, from his stint, and he's come back and he was doing these small comedy routines, and these fucking utter sheer morons are going to these shows, I should be going to these goddamn things, but Dave Chappelle, for whatever reason, doesn't like, I don't know why he doesn't go to Ireland, Dave, go to Ireland, please, i literally be in a front, you can roast a fucking shit out of me. I don't care. I will sit on the front row seat, god damn it, and you can roast the hell. Call me a walking goose looking dickhead. I don't care. You can roast me. I want to see Dave Chappelle live. But instead we have a bunch of fucking utter morons that sit there and they're like, oh my god, I'm offended. Oh, oh dearie me, I'm offended. Go fuck yourselves. Why are you going to a comedy show that you know you're going to be offended and then surprised that you end up being offended? This is why comedy is dying. Comedy is dying because people in, in this society do not like jokes. That's what everyone in this society right now has to act like a goddamn robot. Everyone's got to go to work. They got to take a shit. They got to take a wash. They got to fucking vape. They gotta do whatever the fuck they gotta do. And then they go to bed and they think, ah, it was a good old day, you know. Oh, gotta do it again. 
that's what these people want. They want robotic people to act robotic personalities. That is not how we act in today's society. I am sick, sore and fucking tired of people acting like a goddamn robot. Let us be ourselves. And I'm sick, sore and tired of it. And this special, like, I understand that it's just a special and people might think to me, well, Jerry, why are you angry over just a special? Why are you angry at the, these people that are offended over just a special? It's not a big deal. It is a big deal. It is a big deal because I'm sick, sore. The last thing that we have here in today's society and everything's fucked. Let's be honest, we got Brexit, we got fucking um, whatever's going on in America now these days, we got a whole shitload of problems. The only thing that we got in life is comedy, and now these people are trying to take comedy away from us. I am sick of it. I am sick, sore, and tired of it. Stop taking comedy away from people. I... Honestly, my life has been based on comedy. I looked up to people like uh, Dave Chappelle, in my opinion, greatest of all time. I liked Ken Dodd back in the day within the UK. I liked um, Peter Kay. I thought he was excellent as well. I like Cat Williams. I like Cat Williams. Thought he was a funny fucker. I like Cat Williams. A lot, and majority of the time, I like American comedians more than maybe the Irish stuff. There is a few Irish people that I do like. Um, but at the end of the day, I want to say this, the, these people that are in today's society that want to kill comedy, these people want to, they want to destroy comedy, and we can't allow that. You know, I do e-feds, right? There is a literal backlog, I don't know if you guys are aware, I wanted to keep it a secret, but I'll just say it, there's a backlog of two hours of content for you guys on me doing comedy style stuff. Now, I want to make things perfectly clear, I... Doing stand-up is very different than doing YouTube. Now, I've done stand-up before. I did it about 15 years ago. A long, 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 long-ass time ago. But that does not mean that I can go on stage tomorrow and say, Hey, guys, how's it going? Like, no. Taking, doing stand-up comedy takes time. It takes effort. It is so fucking hard to do because you've got to get the attention of the entire audience. It is a craft that has been well known down the ages and these people, these people that are getting so fucking triggered over Dave Chappelle's show want to destroy that. They want everyone to act like robots. They want to laugh at the same dumb shit and do you know what? I'm fucking sick of it. I'm sick and torn and tired of it and at the end of the day, watch Dave Chappelle's new special. Apparently critics gave it like a 33% but most people like us give it a 99% on Rotten Tomatoes. I don't really give a shit about Rotten Tomatoes. I think it's a dumbass fucking rating. But that shows you the amount of distinct fucking difference that we're seeing in today's society. We're seeing people that are more triggered over dumbass shit. That are triggered over dumbass shit. That it's not... It just, it just, it, it's not even offensive. I didn't even find anything that he said. And there, there was things that he said. David Chappelle has talked about like the Catholic Church. He's talked about this. He's talked about... maybe I think he joked about the Irish one time before. The end of the day, I don't care. I am here to watch stuff about comedy. And you know what, Dave? I really hope you come to Ireland someday. I really want to see you live, mate. I really do. Um, at the end of the day, I'm getting pissed off at these people that get so overly offensive over comedy. That is not what we are here for. We are here to loosen up, have a joke, have a laugh over this shit 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 fucking generation that we're living in right now and if we can't and they're, they're gonna try and take that away from us so fuck you watch dave chappelle special it's fucking amazing and personally i thought it was really really good definitely 100 percent watch it because he and, and by the way he's right about the michael jackson thing i'm just gonna I'm, i'll just fucking say it michael jackson's fucking innocent these two fucking morons defended him in a court case and then they're like oh i'm bankrupt right now oh wait a minute i can i can do a documentary with about michael jackson oh, oh give me that sweet sweet money fuck you okay i'm sick these these people that are trying to destroy legacies of legacies of legacies. And they, they, they just utter complete and utter morons. There we go. Bet y'all didn't think that I was going to talk about this. But this like legit fucking pissed me off. 
Like, legit. This really got me angry compared to anything in professional wrestling. And I really don't care about this Chris Jericho losing his title thing. I really don't give a shit. So, anyway. Stop trying to kill comedy. Stop trying to fucking get triggered over a thing. Just sit in your house and just, I don't know, watch the fucking Big Bang Theory. It's General Jerry on the General Jerry channel signing out. Go fuck yourselves.